All right, guys, as promised, I've got my World Products Windsor Senior Heads that I've had flowed, and I'm going to show you the results. All right, so here's the numbers from the flow bench. Uh, when I picked these heads up from the machine shop that did the valve job, for whatever reason, they only flowed the intake. And here are those numbers. This is These are just handwritten numbers, um, not a printout. But... Uh, 200 we've got 138 400 can't tell if that's a 220 or 230 230 would be pretty good 600 we've got 270 and it peaked at 272 at 700 and i think those numbers are pretty good uh stock these heads out of the box um, if you go back and do some searching i think they flow around 230 and on the intake and about 160 or so on the exhaust um and so I actually wanted to get some exhaust numbers, so I took these, took the head to another machine shop, had them flowed. All right, for the second set of numbers uh, on the intake side, these are pretty close to what the uh, first set of numbers were, maybe slightly less. At 200, we've got 122, 400, Say 218, 500, 246, 600, 266, and then it drops off at 7, down to 257. On the exhaust side, these numbers look pretty good. Um, actually higher than I was expecting. 104 at 200, 172 at 4, 201 at 6, and at 700. We've got, uh, say, 207. Um, and the reason these are higher than you would expect is because they were flowed with an exhaust tube uh, in comparison if you look at the bill mitchell products website the numbers that they quote um, and so they say they were flowed with with a bowl blend and with an exhaust no exhaust tube they get 268 max on the uh, intake valve and once on the exhaust, they got 186, so it's, it's pretty similar to what I had, uh, the numbers that on my head. And actually, I had these, the head, the second place I had the head flowed, I got the second cylinder flowed, and these are those numbers, and they compare similarly to the first cylinder, although, uh, so we've got a 200, we've got 120, compared to 122. On the first cylinder, 400, we've got 220, compared to 218, 500, we've got 247, here we've got 246, um, and then at 6, it drops off to, or doesn't quite match what the uh, first cylinder did, it only goes to 240, 254, here we've got 266. And then it drops to 250 at 700. Not sure why they don't quite peak as high as the first cylinder. Uh, the exhaust numbers look close to the first first cylinder. The max uh, is 206 and 208 on the second cylinder. So the, the valves. I'll show you what the valves look like. So these are Chevy valves, uh, 202 intake, 1600 exhaust, and these are old style Chevy valves from back when I bought these heads in the early 90s. You can see it's got the two grooves, um, one for the lock, and the bottom one is for, a, I think, an O-ring. See the valve seat angles of 45 with 30 degree back cut. And these are straight stem valves. No undercut on the stem. Exhaust valve. Just a 45 degree. A look into the combustion chamber. 
you can see the valve job, you can see the three angle valve job, um, bowl blend, which is just the smoothing of the transition area from the area below the valve seats into the bowl on the intake and exhaust. You can see there was a some work done on the short turn radius, which is the smoothing um, on the turn into the intake port. Similarly for the exhaust port, there's been uh, work done there. The valve guide bosses have been smooth and shaped a little bit, but nothing crazy. So I think we can say these heads, with a little bit of work that I've had done, they're 260 to 270 CFM heads. Uh, I think that's comparable to a Ford Z2. I think they flow around 270, or maybe the cheaper AFR heads, um, AFR enforcers, I think they flow around the same. I think it'll support conservatively what I'm hoping for is 425 torque and 425 horsepower. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe as much as 450, we'll see. So uh, keep watching as I give you some updates as I put the engine together. All right.